What up my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine. Today we are going to be upgrading lights and I'm going to show you the newer fabric LED lights that I'm putting into the thing. It's the foldable LED panel mat on Fabri Fabric 5600K. And uh, yeah, it's going to be great. Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine. Think Magazine, put in a geek. You can find me on geekazine.com. You can find me on uh, youtube.com forward slash geekazine. We're on twitch.tv forward slash geekazine. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. Hit the notification bell for the next video. And of course, watch the live channel as it unfolds on Geekazine Live. So today we're taking a look at this. It's, it's just a package right now, but I'll show you this over here. It is the newer uh, newer fabric LED light panel mat on fabric 5600K 256 LED light panel with a 2.4 uh, gigahertz four channel remote, which means you can get four of them and have one remote that can control them all. One remote to control them all, yes. Uh, you got a diffuser cloth, hand grip, and portable bag. Um, now, I'm a big fan of uh, newer newer products and uh, in all reality i actually have one of these let me show you i've already unboxed one i got two of them and the whole idea of these was i now have the chroma key i have the green screen up here here let me pull it down a little bit this is my green screen so um on a roller and, and i'll talk about how i put that together as well but with a with a chroma key and since i'm so close to the background as you can see it does cast a little bit of shadow on the back wall so what these are going to do is these are going to diffuse those shadows by direct light so they'll be off the camera to the left and off the camera to the right uh, mostly mounted on the ceiling because these are super lightweight and if anything i can just take them off the frame and put them onto the ceiling like that so like i said i've already unboxed this one i wanted to show you this one right away but uh, let's stay 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 okay let's uh let's show you let's unbox because i'm you know i'm a big fan of newer uh of course i talked about these lights right here which you can see uh it was a video i did uh back in 2015 still very popular cowboy stand the newer lights the uh, uh the cow newer the cowboy stands from newer as well and of course the uh and that's not that light by the way uh, i'm just showing you because it's the front light rather than the back light but uh, I'm showing you how it can be used to brighten up in the front. And uh, these are these were 600 nits. Let's let's unbox this puppy and show you what they get, uh, what you get from this whole thing. Because this is this is just amazing new LED light technology or emerging LED light technology. So fabric lights have been around for a long time, but they've been very expensive. So in here, we get the remote, as you can see, this is the main on, on off switch. And then each individual remote, we can change the, the uh, we can dim it, we can change the temperature through the remote control. Um, you just basically have to press on each of them to do that. So we'll set that over here. We get a power, this is just a standard power supply, but I think we should, we would be able to merge these uh, if uh, I could wanted to put two into one, um, but uh, yeah, these uh, these nice little output as you can see, uh, DC power supply and of course the plug. We get a couple double A batteries, which is really nice because uh, you know you need to charge the remote. We get this little stick right here. Now this is more of a handle, so if you decide that you want to walk around with the light, maybe you're using it for accent or something like that. Um, or you can and you can easily set on top of the cowboy stand uh, as you go. A uh, little bit of Velcro here. And then the main unit. Well, first of all, before we do that, we've got the instructions on how to set up the uh, wireless uh, remote. And of course, the instructions uh, for the FL3030-3060, which is uh, 3060, I believe. is. Yep, that's the longer one, which is the one I have uh, which technically is not the newer brand, but it's exactly the same thing. So I'm guessing newer uh, contracted them, or they contracted newer, and they started setting up. So this is the light here. We'll just take it out of the bag. We'll move the bag, throw it over there. There we go. And everything just unrolls. So we'll unroll it. And inside we have, these are the brackets. So we'll set that over here. We'll unroll this.
I know how to take off Velcro. There we go. And then we have the brackets right here. The brackets are fairly straightforward. Uh, the, as you can see, it's all Velcro. So you can uh, you basically have four brackets. One of them has the screw hole in it. Uh, so it would have been nice if they would have just had them all with the screw hole in it. That just makes more sense to me, but they didn't. And so we'll just do it from here. So we'll put in, make sure the Velcro is on the same side. These are just basically not nibs and just push it in and they clip. And then we push it in and they clip. And then finally the top one and clip. There we go. That's the frame. Pretty straightforward. Now we put in the light. We'll move the diffuser first. We'll put on the diffuser as well. But diffuser right there. We'll take the light and of course it's on the bottom. Right here is where the power strip as you or the, where the power goes in. So we want to make sure that we want they have the power to right here so it will match with the, you could put it at any corner but this is where i like to put it so let's put the velcro on lay it flat boom you got your lights pretty simple huh the diffuser just as simple so we'll put it on we'll do start at the bottom and we'll roll it to the top and there we are we've got uh, we've got our light ready to go look at this that's it here and just to make sure this is the one i had before this is the one i have now these are fabric lights and by the best part i didn't even think about this the best part about fabric lights you put them up i put them up here they also act as some sort of absorber or diffuser of uh, sound so if you're having some sound issues, this is, a, this is a great way to add to that, to you fixing that problem. So, so now we got this, and of course they'll be, they'll both probably be tuned. Uh, so you just hit the main button, and they'll, and they'll probably be figured out as one, configured as one. So we'll put the batteries in, of course. Go back to this. So now we have uh, the plug, which will uncurl the uh, bread ties. Do you call these bread ties, or do you call these sandwich ties? What do you call these? I call them bread ties. That's what I learned growing up. And then of course we'll have, we'll put the, we'll put the, uh, we'll put this handle on. I don't know why. Yes, we can. Let's put the handle on. As you can see, here is in pretty straightforward. Flip it around. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing there's, there's a way to get this so it'll work on batteries as well. And I bet you newer, if I look online, I'll bet you I can find something from newer that will allow me to at attach a battery if I need to. Nonetheless, let's uh, plug this in. Here we go. This thing does have an on off switch. Uh, it, so. There, it's on. Now we can turn it. There we go. Now we turn it off. Now we turn it on. Now I turn it off. The, the other cool thing about this is I can put this underneath, uh, you know, like a uh, one of the, the, the soft boxes. So let's say I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm highlighting this little product right here, which is a set of headphones. I can put it on the soft box and turn it on. And then I can take my pictures and, and use it that way. But I can also use it as, you know, if, if I'm a light guy uh, trying to get the right moment the right light i can point it this way and get some some good lighting um with the remote you know, you can brighten it you can lower it this is set on one but not on two three or four and there's way to set these on two three and four my bigger one actually has the ability to do 3200k but since i'm using these for the chroma key I, I don't need that i don't need the yellow lights i just i need the white light when it comes to lighting up that back wall uh, let me flip back over here. When it comes to lighting up the back wall, it should do a good job. When I bring down the chroma key, most likely do a great job. You can even take off the diffuser to really get some difference in light. You can kind of see a little bit. But that's it. That's the uh, fabric lights that uh, from newer. I'm going to turn that off because of the glare. And I'm going to do this, bring this back up. And that's it. That's the newer fabric. And, and of course, like I said, I'll, I will send you, uh, I'll, I'll have a link in the show notes so you can see where you can go. Um, I believe I'll also have geekazine.com forward slash N-E-E-W-E-R fabric. 
newer fabric so and then of course you can go there to check that out but of course when you go to youtube.com forward slash geekazine or geekazine.com you'll there'll be a link in the show notes for that so that is the newer foldable fabric led light panel from uh from newer uh it's it's you can get it in amazon there's the, probably can get it at some the camera stores out there uh some great lights uh for especially when you're traveling and you need to, you need something small something lightweight something compact this does everything that you need so uh tweet me over at geekazine of course facebook geekazine and everything else thanks a lot for watching you guys geek out until next time on geekazine live and uh take care <laughs>